Hello and welcome to the Hugh Hattrick channel here for our weekly race guide on GT7. Now the first race, which is race A, is at Willow Springs International Raceway and it's the Horse Thief Mile in a specified car. So let's have a look to see what that is. It is the Unos Roadster, the Mazda MX-5. In effect, it's going to be a grid start with one times fuel, one times tyres. And on this very tight circuit, which is very dusty, very easy to go off, it's going to be quite tricky, but maybe a little bit more fun than what we had last week. The bop is on, so you can't really make any changes at all other than traction control. But let's go and have a look at who has done a fast lap and see how they did it. So here we are with Tijney as he starts his qualifying lap. So he's managed to take a nice straight line through the first couple of the corners, keeps it tight, lets the car run out to the outside and then a nice inside line, making sure you don't run wide, otherwise you'll lose a lot of time. And he comes up to the top of the hill and he's braking just before the 20 board and then slams that car in over the apex. Bit of oversteer there, but holds it nicely and keeps tucked in to the left, up into third gear. And breaking again just before the 20 mark into second gear, holding it nice and tight. And then out to the outside and up to the right hand bend. Brakes again just gently because this car's got a lot of energy transfer and it's tricky. Now this is the, the left hander that comes at you much earlier than you think. Now he's backed off there nicely into second gear and got the speed off early so he could be smooth. Um, going up the hill and then into the right hander and accelerating out. It will oversteer there quite a bit. Now you see, you see his left wheels are on the sand and his right wheels are on the sand now. But he, now he straight lines it and he crosses the line in a 104.218, um, which is very quick indeed. This is a, it's a very, very kind of tricky, uh, it's like the road car that we get in, in uh, Gran Turismo. They're very finely balanced in terms of the energy going from the front to the back. It will want to uh, oversteer on you and do some very odd things. So just be prepared. It's going to take a lot of practice to get a good time. But a combination like this, well, it's going to be crazy. Enjoy. So here we have race B, which is Grand Valley Highway 1. Now we've had this an awful lot in the last month or so with Group 4 and Group 3. I think they did it in reverse the last time. And we're in the Group 4 cars. It's mid-speed for uh, BOP, so you can't really do an awful lot um, to the car. Your only thing that you can do is brake balance. You're on the racing medium tyre. Again, it's one times fuel, one times tyre, so you don't have to worry about that. And it's four laps <coughs> here at Grand Valley Highway. Um, the, obviously, you've got DR and SR are affected. No pit stops or anything like that. It's really just going to be a flat-out race. So let's have a look at a good lap and show you how to get one. So again, we're in Tijney's car and he set a very good lap. This was in the GTR, the Nissan GTR Group 4 car. So he's coming into the first corner and he's breaking after the 300, really between the 200 and 300, down into third and nicely, kind of nice and smooth, holds it round the first right-hander and up through the gears, holding it nice and tight on the line there for the left and then crossing over to the fifth and then balancing the throttle to a perfect line coming into the left hander then the big hairpin and he's braking and changing down nice and early and it was just before the 300 board and it accelerates out so the group fours are slightly easier to drive than the group three you're not quite as tricky around here keeps it in fourth and then into third holding a nice line there it's all about joining up the sections of the circuit here takes a nice line through there and into first gear and then back into second accelerating up the hill through the tunnel into fourth gear now will he change down into third here any lower than that oh he does go into second and then back up into third holds it round the right hander the long right hander and then accelerates out nice and early using all the road and a bit more and onto the back straight coming into the right hander at the tunnel and where will he break it's just on the hundred board down into second gear, nice and smooth, and takes a nice line, and then exits out on the right hander there, nicely connected, this is going to be as usual a good time, Tijney is incredibly fast, and we're out here, so we come into the tunnel, so hugging it onto the left, and then a nice easy line on the right, takes a little bit of curve there, 
and lets the car run out wide and then on the white line there with his left tyres and it's flat out to the finish and there you go it's going to be a 154.556 which is a very quick time indeed now race C is the big story of the week we're back to long races it's 20 cars as usual uh, sorry 20 laps um, which is way more than we normally get, uh, almost twice as long as we normally get. There's 16 cars in the race. It's uh, times two for fuel and times four for tyres, so you will have to make a pit stop. It's also mandatory to make a pit stop, but more than likely you will have to get some fuel and potentially change tyres. Now, you have the racing mediums, but also there is the intermediate wets as well um, because this has dynamic weather. So some drivers are noticing that they are getting wet weather and some are getting dry and some are getting a mixture. Of course, we're in the group three. There's no actual, uh, the service of the BOP is on. So the only thing that you can do is um, change your brake balance. Of course, the normal settings, DR and SR are affected. So we're using the 24 hour layout. So it starts on the, not the first kind of normal grid start where you see for Formula One, it's round the first hairpin and on the straight after that. But we'll see that as we come to do a fast lap. So who will we choose this week? Let's have a look. Today I've chosen Mad Matthew uh, from Denmark. Uh, he did a very quick time indeed. So well done to him. And we're gonna use his onboard replay to see exactly how to do it now he's breaking between the 50 and the 100 board really at the 75 meters down into second gear and if you want to see what car he is driving we will have a look at that right now it is the toyota with a wonderful library on the back of that then it's, it's all kind of muddy and dirty but it's that's pretty good going so he's coming down the uh, eau rouge and then up to up the hill is that blanchemont oh, no blanchemont's on the other side i know that my my good friend Rue will be going crazy when he watches this. But here we come, up the top of the hill, looking for the braking marker here. And normally it's just as you come into the curbs, down into third gear, but we went into second gear, and then back up into third. And this car has been a very competitive, the Toyota Group 3, the Supra, and holds a nice line using plenty of curb there. And then this is the downhill hairpin, braking nice and early. He actually goes into first gear briefly, and then up into third, holding the line, accelerating out over to the right and then takes a nice line on the left watch those bollards there he goes good times we're in the 16s he's done a mid 16 i've done an 18 and a half it shows how far we are but it is possible spa is one of the tracks you just have to keep working on and learn where you can hold more speed so he's coming into the right hand they're breaking just before the 50 board into second gear holding the right line and then into the left there's lots of time to be gained in this section, especially as you come on to the right-hander here. He's keeping it in second, but then up into third. And here where there's the timing section, you want to try and hold that right line and not run too wide as you go around the corner there. And then heading out down the straight. A little curve here and there. And you can go out and use quite a bit over the line. He's got his right-hand tires well over the line there and flat out all the way, doing nearly 160 miles an hour. And braking just between the 100 and 200 board. Takes a good bit of curb there, a good bit of curb there, just keeps in the first gear, and then accelerates straight out of there. And we see a 216.683, which is a very quick lap indeed. So this week, it's certainly better than last week. At least we've got a few more new combinations. I think race A is going to be really, really tricky. I found the car not very nice to drive and randomly oversteered when you didn't expect it. Um, so some people might want to do that one. Race B, we've had the combination on many occasions, so not particularly original, but at least it might be a bit of fun here and there. But I think because it's only four laps, people are going to go like crazy to try and overtake as much as they can. Race C, however, is definitely better. A longer races, which you kind of need that at Spa, Group 3, a lot of people enjoy that. So I think this will be the race that everyone is doing. So let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks again for everyone who's been subscribing and supporting the channel, um, whether it's been right from the start or in the last few weeks and days. It's great to have you alongside. Have a wonderful week, everyone. We'll see you very soon. Drive fast, but drive your bus even faster. Bye just now.